Hello friends, hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Mm. I put my coffee right here, hopefully it doesn't fall on me. If it does, it'll be a video for America's Funniest Videos. <laughs> okay, so we're continuing our study in what every child should know about prayer. Um, again, I am not a child, I'm a child of God, <laughs> but I love going into uh, kids' books and again, just seeing just the basic way that we do explain things to kids. Um, and sometimes we need to be explained um, concepts like this, you know, in that way. And I feel like we understand it more when we do. At least I do. Am I the only one here? <laughs> so we've been going through this book and we're going to start our next section. Um, and we've been going through how God wants us to talk to him, how prayer is more than asking God for things, how God's people have always prayed. Um, we did the Psalms give us words to pray. And today we're going to do Jesus teaches us to pray, which is the longest section. Look how long it is. So let me see how many we can do. Maybe we'll do six of them. How many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we'll do six of them and then um, next uh, video we'll do the remaining, okay? All right, so Jesus teaches us to pray. What better way to um, just to see how it is that we were to talk to God the Father um, than seeing how Jesus did it, right? He was a perfect example and if he is who we are trying to be like. Okay, so Jesus loved to pray. Jesus loved to talk to his father about everything. He prayed early in the morning and, and late in the night. He prayed by himself and with others. He prayed out in the wilderness and up on a mountain. He prayed before meals and throughout the day. Prayer was a part of all of life for Jesus. And I think that's something that I have been kind of making myself do throughout the day. Um, especially how when I see things in life that remind me like, wow, God is so good in doing this and praying right there and then, right in my head. God, thank you for this. Thank you that I can see who you are through this. Um, like for example, we were having lunch right now and having my husband, um, uh, not my husband, <laughs> having my, my son look at me and he was kind of giggling and making a joke and I was like laughing along with him. I was like, there's God right there. Like I am able to enjoy God's goodness and see how he looks at me when I laugh, how in the way that, the same way that I look at my son. So I think that's amazing, just praying throughout the day. Um, so Luke 6, 12 says, before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. So that's Mark 1, 35, sorry. And then Luke 6, 12 says, Jesus went up on a mountain to pray and he prayed to God all night. Jesus shows us what a life of prayer looks like. The more we pray, the more we want to talk to God about everything. This is awesome. The more we pray, the more we want to pray. Psalm 55, uh, 17 says, Morning, noon, and night I cry out in my distress, and the Lord hears my voice. I can pray, Father, I want to begin all of my days and end all of my days talking to you. Okay? We need to be taught how to pray. Prayer isn't um, something we just know how to do. We have to be taught how to pray. The very best teacher is Jesus himself. He teaches us through a prayer that is often called the Lord's Prayer. But really it is not his prayer. It is a prayer that shows us how we should pray and what we should pray about. It also shows us that our prayers don't have to be long or use special words. Jesus says, pray like this. Our Father is in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. That's Matthew 6, 9 through 13. Father, I'm just learning how to pray. Thank you for the Bible that teaches me how to pray. Jesus teaches to pray to our Father in heaven. Sorry, te Jesus teaches us to pray to our Father in heaven. Jesus calls us his brothers and sisters, and he invites us to pray to his Father, our Father. Pray like this, 
our Father in heaven, like we see in Matthew 6, 9. God is a Father who welcomes, loves, and responds to His children. He is our Father who lives in heaven. This reminds us that He is not limited to our time and space. From heaven, the rules over all, sorry, from heaven, He rules over all the earth. Even though he's in heaven, he listens to the prayers of all his children. He is ready and able to help us. Uh, 1 John 3, 1 says, See how very much our Father loves us, for he calls us his children. And that is what we are, his children. Father in heaven, I love being your child. I love the picture of the illustration that they have here is like a city, right? And you see this little girl. Over here, she's praying, and this is her prayer, right? But it doesn't matter where you're at, right? God can still listen to our prayers. I love that. God teaches us to pray for God's name to be praised. Instead of being our, sorry, instead of beginning our prayers by telling God what we want, Jesus teaches us to begin our prayers by telling God how great he is. Okay, I love this. So you can already set the tone for your prayer, recognizing and reminding your heart and your mind who God is. He is on his throne. Um, yeah, and that he is holy and that dictates and should dictate um, how we address him, what we tell him, what we think of him. Okay, so again, we are going through the Lord's Prayer and we talked about um, how, yes, um, he is our Heavenly Father, but now... Um, the part where it says, may your name be kept holy or hallowed be your name. All right. Um, okay. God is holy, which means that he is not ordinary. He is greater than anything or anyone. He always does what is right. When we pray that his name be kept holy, we're asking God to reveal himself exactly as he is so that he will be honored by all people everywhere. All honor and glory to God forever and ever. He is the eternal king, the unseen one who never dies. He alone is God. Amen. That's 1 Timothy 1, 17. Father, I want everything I do to bring you glory. So you see this little, this little guy over here praying. And over here is a throne. Okay, so reminding him who... Here we go. Who is sitting on the throne, which is God himself. Jesus teaches us to pray for God's kingdom to come. Our father is a great king and he is a good king. He has promised us that one day he will come to this earth as king. When he comes again, everything about the world that isn't right will be made right and he will make everything new. There will be no more evil or pain or death. This is very interesting for us to be able to already instill in our children. Um, this one place, you know, in heaven that is going to have no evil, no pain, no death. Um, and, and yeah, just walking them through that at a young age. I feel like it's so critical. Um, Jesus teaches us to ask God to come and to rule over everything and every person. And one day he will. So teaching already our kids, hey, there is an eternity. That's a fact that is coming after this life that we should be looking forward to. Uh, Matthew 6.10, may your kingdom come soon. As we obey God now, his kingdom comes to us. When we tell others about how good God is and they begin to obey him, his kingdom comes to them too. Father, may your kingdom come to this earth very soon. I can hardly wait for you to, come to make all things new. And the last one for today, Jesus teaches us to pray for God's will to be done. In heaven, God is surrounded by angels who do exactly what he wants them to do. Everything in heaven is exactly the way God wants it to be. Jesus teaches us to pray that it will be the same way here on earth. Matthew 6.10, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we pray for God's will to be done, it reminds us that we don't pray to try to get God to do what we want him to do. Instead, we pray to tell God we welcome him to do what he wants to do. We can pray this way because we know that God's plans for us and for the world are the very best. So again, we're not praying just to say, God, I, or we're not, we're praying to ask, but we're not praying for God to adjust to our plans, but for him to help us to adjust to his plan. We pray to let him know we want to follow your will. We want your will to be done. 
Father, may your will be done in my life, just like your will is done in heaven. Um, so we'll leave it there for today. We'll finish this section next video. Um, but I love how each um, of these pages that I'm reading, each lesson is only like two pages long. So this would be a really cool thing for you guys to do with your children. Um, to maybe like a daily devotional or a reading that you guys can do before bedtime. If you guys read a book before you guys go to bed or in the morning. Um, because they're not long at all. And they have a title, they give an explanation to a verse, and they also do like a model prayer that you guys can do, um, which has to do obviously with the topic that you're talking about. So yeah, so we will finish this tomorrow. And that's about it guys. To, uh, in the description box, if you go down, there's a link to uh, where you guys, well, it's just the name of the book so you guys know where to get it. I think I have a link, I'll double check. If not, at least you have the title of the book so you guys can get it if you guys are interested. And I have been loving doing this with my kids. So, all right, that's about it guys. Stay tuned for a few messages for myself. Love you all and don't forget our hope in life and death is in Christ Jesus. I will see y'all next time, bye. Hey friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It really does mean the world to me that you take time out of your busy schedule to check me out. So thank you so much. I have a few messages to share with you guys. They won't take long at all, I promise. So number one, I accept prayer requests. Um, there's a list that we have here uh, at my house that me and my family pray for every single day. So if you have a prayer request um, and you want us to add you to the list, just go ahead and contact me. Uh, you can leave a comment below or you can email me or contact me through any of my social media platforms and we will go ahead and add you to that list. Number two, if you are on Instagram or Facebook, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I post a lot more content there than I do here. I share with you guys just my everyday life, pictures of my kids, recipes, what I do um, on the Insta stories and all that good stuff. So if you are there, go ahead and follow me. And number three, if you are not already part of this family, go ahead and subscribe um, to my channel and hit that notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you get notified. We have so much fun here. I post videos on my life. I do vlogs. I do makeup reviews. I do recipes. And also I do Bible studies. So if you're interested, go ahead and join our family. We would love to have you. Mm. All right, guys, so that's about it. That was nice, short, and sweet for you guys. Thank you again for watching. Um, don't forget our hope in life and death is in Christ Jesus. Love you all, and I will see you on my next video, Lord willing. Bye.